Hello. Welcome back to an episode. We are again next to a dude called Nial. Nial is over here in Timur, uh next to the, well, pier. Let's talk to him. Hmm. It's pretty isolated. I take mm -hmm. something special to live out here. Something hard. Those without it flee back to the more accommodating walls of Kerrigar. Well, nothing against Kerrigar, man. Waiting for something? Not something. But someone. Someone like you, in fact. You look the worldly sort. Would you be able to travel to the under the Fat Goose Inn in the Highland Wilds and let Torben the innkeeper know Niall will be there shortly to settle his tab? I likes me a drink, see. And that place is the best ale in these parts. Uh -huh. It seems as if, uh, as if this quest was actually one of those um, go to another area uh, kind of missions. But why does it point me down? Could make sense because of the difficulty difference. Like this is 45 and this is 50. But uh, yeah. That's also 45. Okay, let, let's just look at the uh, difficulty at the beginning. So, Fractured Peaks, 30 to 50, sure. Uh, all of the stuff around here, a bit weird, but uh, somehow... Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. Uh, this one here has level 40, and the connecting part here has level 50. Somehow the scaling stops at a point and it's, it's just weird whatever the whole thing just uh, changes according to your max level anyway but it's interesting to see what the uh, cutoff is like this is 50 that's the cutoff uh, down here probably also just 50 that is really interesting okay now uh, let's talk to Torben Nia yeah, will settle his tap shortly oh he will will he you must be the fifth person he sent this week while proclaiming his intention to make good on what he owes. <laughs> okay. Just like that. What kind of mission is this? Uh, an iron chunk and silver ore mission. Uh, but it seems as... Yeah, th that was definitely one of those missions uh, f forcing you. Leading you to a different area. And from the goose? Uh, I don't know if there's another area though. Hmm. Okay. I should have just uh, done this mission beforehand though, but okay. It's still kind of weird that there's no follow up mission. Or maybe if we go back, we can ask him why he was so uh, strange about it? No. Hmm. Okay. So that means we are going uh, further down there and we're going to explore this uh, reddish environment a little bit while we're at time it. To do that. Are there some dungeons down here though? Not down here. The cellar is cleared. Ah, okay, climbing up here may not have been necessary that much. You come on. I need time to do that. Let's let those creatures be. Live and let live. <laughs> uh, maybe. Interesting. Okay, what is going on here? Fiery wargs and maggots crawling in place. Yeah, come on, let's pick it up. Yeah, now I see. That design reminds me of something. And by the way, I... have Huh, that's weird. I've seen the butcher. I don't know how many times. I think three times already. Two at least. But for a very, very, very long time, I haven't seen this dude at all. It's kind of weird. Yeah. 
Maybe the butcher only appears if you are too weak or something. Just to rub it in. Or if you started it or whatever. Alrighty. So let's go all the way up there. Yeah, follow a red marker on a red area. Well, actually, the, wa the, the walker. The marker is white. Try to remember the name of the boss, like the mega dude. Something with D. Duriel, du Dura, Duracell, something like that. <laughs> uh, like the battery, basically. And it was pretty damn fast, too. So, uh, let's see. Not Shouldn't focus my attention too much on the enemies. I mean, they give me pretty much nothing. Okay. This werewolf here. Uh, 303. 20 experience, basically. Great. Absolutely great. But the level is far, 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 far lower right now. The whole time, the difficulty just scaled with you, right? But it, somehow, there seems to be a maximum difficulty for a certain world tier. And world tier 2 seems to end at 40. What is this? It looks as if you can destroy that. Maybe not now, but maybe later. Right. Got that stuff done. Good. Uh, let's see. Let's go down this road. I need time to do that. Maybe check out that bunch here. Nothing. Ooh. Ah, there we go. More loot. More loot, more loot. Hmm. I'm not ready yet. No. Mm. Ah, healthy ones, no. The most annoying modifier. to get more fortified than health, right? But in order to do that, you have to actually lose a little bit of health. But this is pretty much impossible because I'm re regenerating all the time. The only thing that I do have then is just fortified health. But I lose the 10% uh, uh, damage reduction. <laughs> that is a wee bit weird. All right, now. Where does that one go? Ah. I must 
Wait a moment. So, more willpower, perfect. And it's somewhere over here, all the way to the east. In the blood veil. I'm not ready yet. I'm out of spirit. Ah, bollocks. The creature was kind of stuck inside the wall here. Huh? Ready. Now, haven't I uh, picked up a... Yeah, here we go. I need more time. Some howler moss. Slain Knight Penitence. Claw marks riddled the decaying body. A single word is written across the fallen knight's chest. Trespasser. Okay. And uh, this thing here is an entrance to another area again. So there are two areas. Uh, one with the uh, growth, reddish kind of growth around, and another one with the fog. Uh, both of them limiting access parts of the map. Interesting. What's this? The helms are old, dented from violent blows and spotted in red blood. Nah, it's thirsty again. Zooming through. Zoom, zoom! Right, and then where does this one lead? Oh, okay. A normal environment. Disgusting. What's this shrine all about? Uh, I'm not ready yet. I just spin that one then. Oh, treasure goblin! Yes, 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 yes. I must wait. Okay. Still spam a bit more. There we got it. No relax though. Maybe it only comes up if you are at a level 50 area or something like that. Well, the chances are higher at least. So not necessary, not necessary, not not not. Okay. I'm not ready yet. One little you gotta be kidding me. Huh. Hmm. 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 Probably up here somewhere. Okay. The area that is not accessible right now, that would make the most sense. Is this here? Hey, wait, what's all? Is yes. Do you need help? Please, I need your help. I can't see. My dearest wanders these woods alone. Mm hmm. Good. So we just stand here. 
for this thing. My dearest. It's not a... Hmm. Feels as if he's looking for another ghost again. Which kind of makes sense. But it would be more interesting to see like... Um, 10, 20, whatever ghosts appear out of nowhere. And he has to figure out which of those ghosts are the real ones. Not ready yet. Okay. Okay, come on. Any second. Any second. I do not have enough spirit. And there we have it. I must wait a minute. I must wait a minute. So, and a, another one finished. How many orbits do we get though? 35. So the difficulty makes no difference on the amount of ovals that you can get. Uh, like the, the, the number itself is somewhat randomized, but it's always between like 20 and 50. 35 most of the time. I need more time. Yes, 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 yes. I want to know what's at the end of that road. I need more time. See that? It goes on and on and on, and then suddenly it stops. Okay. That is also a special thing. Probably part of another quest or something. Good. Now, we have discovered... Uh, there are five more side missions in Scotland. Interesting. And there are four more in Fractured Peaks. They may be related to the main mission that you have to do. Uh, then there's also dungeons that for some reason are... Not visible for me, but that could relate to the to the quests themselves. How much is that? Like free aid dungeons. Okay, that's actually a lot of dungeons. So some of them related to missions and some others probably something else. Oh, and then there's also this stuff here. Uh, the lower quarters. Good. One more little statue. That's nice. But other than that, we got uh, almost all the renown that we need. Perfect. Okay. Now, there's a uh, dry steps, of course. Uh, and then there's Havizar. Okay, just on. Havizar's one, two. Yeah. This stuff down here. Fisherman Islands. Actually, it's somewhat similar, uh, I would say, than uh, to Scotland. Hmm. Yeah, the dry steps, we're going to keep that one for the end, probably. <laughs> uh, and Harvey's are we can go to next, maybe. Or what is this? No, look at that. Undiscovered, like 40 and 50 level range. Okay. Could be because it's uh, right next to the... Um, oh, come on. Uh, yeah, right next to the next main mission. That could be the reason why. All right. That means we're going south from Margrave, but before we do that, we're gonna do some inventory management. Okay. The good old inventory manager. Inventory manager. Oh yeah, that is what we are. The inventory manager. Wait. That's a different kind of area. Uh, my brain dead memory just uh 
Let me the wrong side. There we go. What about rings, though? I'm looking for critical strike and lucky hit. Nothing in here seems to get the right amount of... Oh, 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 oh. Companion damage, yes. Uh, werewolf, not so much. But uh, it's a nice chest armor, but I have a better one right now. And 10% is the minimum increase that it should get me. Generally. Ah, and then there's also the alchemist. I haven't checked that one out recently. Let's see. Yeah, level 60. That is a very long time until I can find that. Sold elixir is still the highest available. Or the latest. Then uh, one of those things is still the same. The instant stuff is also 50. Nothing more. Ah, so 20 minutes. Yeah, but cost you an arm and a leg to craft, so no. Light keep you. And, and oh yeah, some obols. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go to the obol vendor and get ourselves some um, uh, some gloves again. That's the cheapest thing to do. Hmm, yeah, look at that. Oh, I've got really? Okay, werewolf skills function as storm skills, and werebear skills function as earth skills. For the nature's fury, key passive. And this is really cool. Only problem is. I don't use uh, shapeshifting skills, and I don't switch between Storm and Earth scales. As if the game wants to this is oh. But this is actually a really cool one. Really, 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 really cool one. Hmm. That is a really, really good one. Casting a Storm skill and crit chance. You can... Basic. Wait a minute. Uh, that's on gloves. That means it's a defensive thing. Um, that is. Uh, that also includes head, helmet, uh, chest, and maybe boots. I don't know. But the the pants probably. So four times you can get this thing to work at least. Maybe even with the ring or amulet on it. Um, so you can increase your crit chance by fifty percent, and uh, the earth. The, yeah, the earth skill damage can be increased by also four times that so 160 percent bonus crit strike damage that is insane uh, yeah yeah but this one works uh very well with like nature's fury which is the flip-flop um ability meaning that uh, you use a storm skill followed by a um nah storm skill followed by an earth skill and so on uh, so much and so forth and turning werebear and werewolf skills into storm and earth skills respectively is just insane. But could you? I mean... It says uh, for the nature's fury key passive, right? Um, let's just check something out. Uh, lightning storm has been granted to you by lightning storm? Oh, that's why. Anyway, uh, the thing that I wanted to look for is Wrath Werewolf. Uh, werewolf again. They don't seem to s change. Uh, huh. They don't give it another tag. Like Even if you have that ability, they don't give it another tag. This is the Ninja's Fury thing. Okay, let's say I would get this one. Would anything change in here? Still, werewolf. Werewolf skills are supposed to be storm, and werewolf skills are supposed to be uh, other stuff. So, uh, let's get rid of that one. Um, could I maybe learn one of the... Okay, I don't have any werewolf skills available, like, at all. It's good. So, let's see... Okay, let's go with that one. It still says basic werewolf, right? Um, it still says basic werewolf. It still says basic werewolf. Werewolf skills function as storm skills, and uh, weather skills function as earth skills. Heal so and so much the earth and might also applies to your storm skills. 
Yeah, the, oh, this thing here, right? Earthen might apply to your storm skills, but the, uh, I don't know if you can mix it that way around. Because you could uh, use Earthen Might to get higher crit chance. And because of the storm skill stuff of the on here, where skills function as storm skills, da 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 da. It says function as for the Nature's Fury key passive. Does it mean that they function as storm skills for themselves alone or only for the Nature's Fury key passive? Meaning that they don't get the storm or earth modifier. But they uh, just trigger the uh, the uh, the nature's fury thing as if they were that. So it kind of limits the way you can uh, crisscross the build a little bit, because that would have been kind of cool uh, using the legendary aspect like that one here to increase that even further. Like that one just goes for for storm uh, and all of that. Hmm. I don't see any uh, modifiers in here. Okay. Let's just check something. Uh, I want to look at the stash. If I have an item in there that changes the, the setup a little bit. Um, which one was it? That's just armor gain. Uh, gain armor. When you fortify your earth skills, grant two ranks. No. That's not what I wanted to look for. Mm. Sadly, this is not what I want and uh, not interested in it. So we can dismantle it. All right. Uh, and uh, let's get rid of that. I actually thought they get the, uh, like this tag here. Like this one is the earth tag. I was looking for earth or like a uh, storm right here. Hmm. Or maybe this is just a bad wording or whatever, but still not quite sure. Still not quite sure. Alrighty, so let's get uh, in here and dismantle all of that. We need the bonus things. There you go. Anything to upgrade? Anything to declare? That one gets how much bonus damage? Like 60? A little bit more, right? A little bit. I mean, we would definitely benefit from this. The problem is the uh, legendary item thingy here is four units. And I just don't want to spend the money for it. Just an increase of four. Like, uh, increase of four. We use up four of these resources. And I don't even have that many of those resources. That's why I'm so nitpicky about it. I don't have that many of them. Another thing that I could try to do is um, get legendary affixes uh, or aspects on, on, on gear. Uh, that is the wrong one. So, let's see. Yeah, you can just uh, switch that around. Okay. I was just going to test something out. Uh, we could... Uh, wait a minute. What's the cost of this? Two? Uh, and that one. Okay. And if we choose something else, it's still the same cost. Alright. So, we are uh, imprinting it with a different aspect. Does not matter that much. Which is good. So, what can we place on here? Becoming injured, yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> damage from earth skills, slow enemies, don't care. When you fortify your earth skills, gain <gasps> two ranks. Hmm. When you get this on pretty much all of your gear, you could do tons of damage. Mm. Becoming injured by crowd control, it grounds you unstoppable, yeah, da, 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 da. Hmm, that's definitely not the one I want to place in there, but uh, what kind of aspects do we have that I can use here? Well, Hurricane is active? Yeah. Hmm. Two ranks for your shapeshifting stuff. Uh, sadly, the headpiece can only get the barrier. I mean, not that the barrier is bad. It could definitely help me. On top of the whole healing. I mean, yeah, why not? It could help me, yeah. It's the only thing that I can use right now. It doesn't. doesn't, doesn't. Oh, and then this one could get a uh, 
something in there as well. Everything here is offensive or like headpiece related. Wait, what? Why are there no pants on this one? That's weird. Pants are the only thing that's purely defense. The trap is a chest piece. Oh. Yeah, traps are chest pieces for some reason. Interesting. Boots as well. Gloves. Almost every armor piece, except pants. Why are pants not armor? Why are they not... Don't you have utility pants? <laughs> okay. Uh, could we enchant something in here? That one is already mixed around. That one is already mixed around. The, the boots, maybe. Uh, nah, that's also changed. And the rest would cost an arm and a leg because they're legendary, yes. We're not going to do that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the... Um, barrier in it. Uh, why does that not work right now? There we go. Let's do the barrier. Alright. Hmm. And now we are the crow! Gaga! Gaga! The magic chicken! Gaga! So, let's get more of that. And that one will get a similar treatment. Oh, critical strikes grant, da, 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 not yet unlocked. Oh, movement speed, sure, while unstoppable. And uh, for four seconds after, you gain increased movement speed and can move freely through enemies. Okay, while unstoppable and four seconds after. And then there's this one here. Becoming injured grants you unstoppable for four seconds. And then four seconds after. So that means... If you get injured, you can run around like a ghost. That's actually quite nifty. When you hit a crowd-controlled enemy, there's up to da 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 to avoid the spread. Yes. Mm. The whole unstoppable thing could help me in tight situations, if you think about it. Let's just take that. Upgrade that. And now we're good. We are the legendary hero with no trap equipment. Oh, yeah. Ah... <sighs> Ready. Now, let's go back to Margrave. Uh, also, I was looking into world bosses and uh, how and when they spawn and whatnot. The, um, because I did not... What is this headpiece? See how it wiggles around? That's actually quite interesting. But the headpiece itself just looks like, like a, like a, like a cloth clap cloth cap whatever uh, I really need to change the the, the the color design of this like everything in here is yellow uh, wait a minute everything in here is yellow all items that I find are yellow well except for the the, the this part here I don't want to change the whole thing just the color better uh, unequipped look uh, was that the look? No. Oh, that's what they mean with unequipped look. Ah. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, uh, wardrobe, appearance, headstone. Ah. The others? No. So, don't want to go to shop, modify the slots. Ah, okay. So just click on that stuff. Uh, uh huh. No, that's not the look that I want to go for. Default look. That's also not the one. No, 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 no. I haven't unlocked the other one yet. Okay. The thing is, I just want to change the color uh, of the items that I wear at the moment. I don't want to change the 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 kind of items. That I'm wearing, or like the 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 look of it. How much? Huh. So that's not quite working out. You can only change the appearance if you have unlocked the item itself, and then you can change the color pattern, which uh, is a wee bit weird, but okay. So we are going to explore Havisar, starting with uh, whatever this area is, in the next one. Ah. Uh, 
until then we are definitely going to look like the ground look at this this is we are invisible pretty much even the wolves are invisible the wolves look like the the rock and the mud and we look like the uh, yellowish grass next to it no one will see anything right as i said we are gonna do this other stuff in the next episode like and subscribe as usual and uh farewell ta-ta